CBS New York Book Club's meet up with Mitch Album uh, about his novel with the Little Liar that streams this week. The book is another bestseller for Album. His first, of course, was Tuesdays with Maury, the most successful memoir ever. But as Album told CBS 2's Mary Calvi, many publishers turned it down. <laughs> story is about a young boy realizing his dream of being an author, you'd be wrong. As a little boy growing up in New Jersey, would you have ever imagined that you would have 40 million copies of your book sold? No, because I never aspired to that. I never wrote for in my high school newspaper. I never wrote for my college newspaper or anything. I was a musician through and through. And it was only after music didn't work out, I volunteered for a local newspaper. Internationally renowned best-selling author Mitch Album began his writing career at the weekly supermarket paper, The Queen's Tribune. Believe me, when I was like putting the ads together at the Queen's Tribune, you know, <laughs> and trying to, you know, get the scores from the local high schools, I wasn't thinking 40 million copies of a book. I was just thinking, I wonder if I can one day get them to give me some money for doing this. <laughs> Album went on to become a well-known sports writer, and you might think, well, the rest is history, but not exactly. For the first 37 years of my life, I was mostly just about myself. And then I encountered an old professor of mine, Maury Schwartz, and he was dying from Lou Gehrig's disease. And really, the first visit I went was out of guilt. And he was so calm and so in control and content with how he had led his life. And I began to go back the next Tuesday, the next Tuesday, the next Tuesday, all the Tuesdays that he had left in his life. As a result of that, I did really what was the first nice thing of my life for somebody else. I wrote the book Tuesdays with Maury to pay his medical bills. We came to this city, New York, trying to find a publisher and got turned away virtually everywhere. They, everywhere? Almost, they almost threw us down the Tuesdays steps. Tuesdays with Maury was turned everywhere. down? Everywhere. Boring, depressing, you're a sports writer, nobody's going to want to read it. I would have given up. Mitch, I'm stunned. Yeah, I'm stunned true. to hear that. But because it was for somebody else, I kept pushing. We found one publisher who was willing to publish it. We met at the Museum of Jewish Heritage in Manhattan to speak about his latest work. I always say it takes me a year, a year and a lifetime <laughs> to write a book because it takes a year to physically do it, but yes, it takes a right. lifetime to think the ideas that ultimately lead you right. to that point. A lifetime of experiences can be found in the pages of his books and in his latest, The Little Liar. I am truth, and this is a story about a boy who tried to break me. For years he hid, during the Holocaust and after it, changing names, changing lives. Here at the museum, we sat within an exhibit called What Hate Can Do. It teaches about Holocaust history through personal items and stories, including the lives of Greek Jews. Some 60,000 died during the Holocaust. I always wanted to write one story set during the Holocaust, and I kept waiting to come up with some idea, and then I thought, what if it's a boy who's never told a lie in his life? And the first lie that he tells is the worst lie he's ever going to tell. What do you hope people get from The Little Liar? What do you hope they take with them? The truth is precious, and we can't destroy it willy-nilly, and that it takes work to find the truth. The CBS New York Book Club show with Mary Calvi and Mitch Album will stream on Tuesday, January 16th. That's this week, this Tuesday at 7 p.m. on CBSNewYork.com, Pluto TV, and the CBS News app.